I've got some food by the Very Good Food Company, and we'll be talking about this dog that's been shouted at by everybody from The Motley Fool to Pamela Anderson. What's the fuss about? Let's find out. Natural fries, so good. I know a lot of people are talking about the numbers, but to me, uh, the food is really important. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Boma, if you're new here. On this channel, we'll talk about entrepreneurship, finance, and just sort of my life as a business owner. In today's video, I'll be reacting to Financial Education's video called I'm buying a new $1 stock, vegan and not Beyond Meat stock. Hmm, what could that be? Full disclosure, I also own stock in the Very Good Food Company. I live in Victoria and I remember when they launched, I think in 2017 or so, everybody was talking about this company. The food is delicious like I showed earlier. And for the longest time, they were sort of like this Victoria Canadian secret. They've gone mainstream, everybody's talking about them. And today I'll be reacting to this video and also sharing my thoughts, sort of as an insider, insider in the sense that I live in Victoria where they sort of blew up. So let's get started. Before I give you my take on the very good stock, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, let's do it. I want the next big, huge, potential vegan company out there, and I've been looking for it, and I think I have been able to find what I believe is the next big potential vegan company out there. Keep in mind, Beyond Meat has a valuation of over $10 billion on it, okay? The capital markets want these type of companies to succeed in a major way. A lot of people look at this as like the future and like something like Beyond Meat, it's everywhere now. Like literally, like uh, you go back a year or two ago, you had to like actually look for Beyond Meat products. And I can tell you in most grocery stores around, in, especially in my community, I, like every store has Beyond Meat now. I definitely agree with him that, you know, vegan food is everywhere before, you know, it was just the Beyond Meat, but now um, in where I'm at in Canada, yes, I'm seeing a lot more very products in all the grocery stores. Uh, so it's a wonderful time to invest in some vegan stock, if you ask me. Now, before we get into the stock, I have to give a warning out there, and it's a big warning because I know every single time I talk about a stock, there's definitely a lot of people that go and buy that stock, okay? Not me. Uh, like I mentioned, I have been a fan of this company since they opened in 2017. I also own stock in Very, and I'm not buying stock because I watched this video. As I'm filming this video, the stock price is $4.20 Canadian. And I know some people say that's overvalued. People say that about a stock, and they were featured in The Motley Fool, so I feel like that's like a sign of being pretty mainstream. The Motley Fool says that since August 26, Very Good Food stock has increased 128%. This is a market outperformance of 136% and something that growth investors may want to consider. Pretty cool. This is a super small market cap. It's a little over a hundred million dollar company, okay? So it's it's risky. There's just no doubt about it. It's a risky stock. It's absolutely speculative, okay? Uh, but if you look at all these terms, like over the past 10 years, they've just gone up and up. Vegan diet, right? Look at that one. Vegan food. I, what happened in January? Like what happened right around January 1st, 2017? Like it messed up literally all these charts. The trend charts around vegan got so messed up. I don't know what happened that day. Uh, maybe some new documentary came out on Netflix or something like that because look at that chart. It just like shot up like crazy. It messed up the whole chart, but no doubt these, these charts have been going crazy. And speaking about Netflix, I honestly think Netflix is a massive reason be why there is such a huge vegan movement. I'm just going to be honest. About Netflix, that's an interesting comment. I don't really follow vegan trends. So I'm not really sure how I take that comment that Netflix has been really sort of pushing this vegan agenda. Um, I'm gonna call it that. Uh, but interesting comment. Uh, Netflix is obviously a huge play in the entertainment industry, so I'm not surprised. I'm sure there's lots of really good um, documentaries there about vegan food, but yeah, I'm curious to uh, find out more. This vegan movement, it's not just a trend. We see sometimes diets come and go, right? And they're just like trends. But this whole vegan movement, this is not a trend in my personal opinion. It's not a trend at all, okay? There are real reasons why people are choosing this diet. Some people, they just don't like the slaughter of animals in respect. You know, that that's definitely a segment of the population out there is strictly vegan because they don't want to see the, the slaughter of animals, okay? There's another segment of, of folks out there that do it for dietary reasons. So they believe that a vegan diet is more healthy for you. I agree. I think um, one of the reasons why this stock is being talked about so much is the fact that it is so true that people are considering being vegan for multiple reasons. For instance, I'm a member of a Rotary Club where if you know anything about Rotary Clubs, 
demographics is the demographic is quite older and i know over the past few years there have been more conversations about vegan diets just because people are now thinking more critically about meat consumption people are more i think more critically just about animal rights and animal cruelty and things like that a lot of people in my rotary club are not vegan but they are thinking more ethically in terms of their consumption of meat and when stock of the very good food company comes up for a lot of people it's a no-brainer because it's exactly what they're looking for right now here's jeremy's vegan food chart okay that's food consumption of like vegan, like meatless products and things like that. Uh, yeah, it's just going to go up and up over the next 10 years. There's no doubt in my mind. More and more people are starting to replace some meals with some of these products. And I just see it growing like crazy over the next 10 years, needless to say. Okay. So that's why I am picking like a vegan category. And I want to play in one of these stocks in this space because it's not going anywhere except up in my opinion. Okay. What stock is it? This company is called the Very Good Food Company. Ticker symbol in the States is VRYY. F. You have to buy it on the OTC unless you're going to buy it in the Canadian market. It's a stock that's like a dollar and seventy cents. Uh, cost base on this one's a dollar and forty eight cents right now. And as far as how we're doing on it so far, we're doing pretty dang good. We're already up ten thousand dollars on this particular stock already. And this is literally just a stock I bought in like the past week or so. So we're already doing really really well on this stock. And if we go ahead and we look at the, the products they have on their website, they have burgers, they have taco meat, a very British banger. What is that? Okay. I guess it's some sort of a sausage type thing there. Okay. They have bacon, smoking bangers, stuffed breast, which I assume kind of tastes like turkey. I'm not sure. Look at the bacon that's sold out there. They have a roast beef type product. They have a steak type product. They have a rib type product, right? The, the steak, the ribs, those are sold out on the website. And then they basically have like a, a hot dog competitor. Editor, okay, called the very good dog. Speaking of hot dogs, look what I have right here. I'm not, I have to be honest, I'm not a big fan of regular hot dogs. I think they're completely gross, like you don't know what's in there. But look at this. Ingredients, in case you're curious, it's wheat gluten, maybe beans, water, sunflower oil, onions, spices, nutritional yeast, tomato paste, natural flavor, salt, organic cane sugar, and liquid smoke contains wheat gluten and mustard. And in terms of nutritional facts, uh, fiber, three grams, sugars, two grams, protein, 22 grams, carbs, 13 grams, ETC, ETC. So this stuff is good. In terms of variety, he's totally right. There's quite a bit of variety. It's all really good. My favorite, like I mentioned, I love the very good dogs and I really love the nacho fries. So good. I know a lot of people are talking about the numbers, but to me, uh, the food is really important just because the Good Butchers have a store in Victoria where you can actually go pick up food in person. So the food is delicious. The stock price is right right now. There's a lot to love about this company. Growth. You want to talk about growth? This is growth on a whole other level, okay? I own some super fast growing companies, but I don't own anything other than this stock that's growing this dang fast, okay? Revenues were up 395% year over year. That's just redunculants, okay? Just ridiculous. Almost 400% growth year over year. Now, it's obviously a super small company, so these numbers, you know, are, are obviously growing, but yeah, that's a crazy growth rate. And this company should be able to grow, in my opinion, hundreds of percent per year for at least the next few years. And as far as like, uh, you know, uh, uh, it's hard for me not to see this company grow huge every year for the next decade plus. This is of reference what The Motley Fool said, and it says, you know, the company had its IPO in June of 2020, and since then has been picking up a lot of steam on the public markets. And I think the branding for this company is, is phenomenal. And I'm not just talking about the packaging, I'm just talking about like the way this kind of brand is seen. It's seen as like a cleaner company than like a Beyond Meat or something like that, okay? Beyond Meat, like if you really look at like what's in Beyond Meat eh, as far as the, the product goes, and you actually look at some of the nutritional facts and things like that, it's not very impressive, okay? Ask anybody that knows a lot about nutrition, they'll tell you, man, those Beyond Meat uh, burger patties you're eating and the Beyond Meat products, it's not not nearly as healthy as you might think. Let's put it that way. And so I think this company, for a category that a lot of people like to be very educated on what they're putting in their bodies, I think this is big. Okay. I was curious about the nutritional information about some of the other products, so I went on their website to check it out for myself. The Very Good Burger, which is obviously one of their most popular products, has 270 calories. It has one gram in saturated fat. 23 grams of carbs, including four grams of sugar. Uh, the sugar content is a bit high in my opinion. It occurs with another favorite of mine, which is the smoking burger. It has 180 calories. It has 0.5 grams of saturated fats, much better. Three grams of sugar and 19 grams of protein. So um, 
yeah really not bad not bad at all the tagline is 100 whole food ingredients side note i do have a friend who worked in their kitchen for a while and she did verify that you know selective whole grains and proteins and beans and things like that that's going into the product so that's really good to know well now onto the drama there's been lots of conversations about all the promotion around the very good food company so much so that the company actually had to address it it's youtube so of course there's drama they released a statement yesterday addressing the recent increase in trading activity and to confirm that no material information remains undisclosed since the date of the initial IPO, the company has been featured across a wide variety of media platforms receiving significant publicity in connection with the increase in interest in the plant-based food technology sector. I'm glad they released a statement just to clarify that nothing unethical is happening. Now you have it. The company I stand by and it's good to know that, you know, nothing dodgy is happening behind the scenes. Price is right, the ethics are there, and the food is in point. So stop waiting and get in on their action. I hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck in your investment journey and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.